You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Let's go! Yes. <laughs> Live from the laundry room. After the gym and off the ride. It's good. So, um, let's talk about the band. First, I want to I wanna say something to you about the band. When I first talked to Pete, and I heard of you breaking down the band to me, I thought they were going to be bad. Just dropped. I didn't know that they were going to be trailers. I thought these were just things that were going to pop up. Well, and you know what it is? <clears throat> you know, we've always been like a promotion machine, you know? And, just um, couldn't help but promote it. We couldn't help but promote it, but I think <laughs> now <clears throat> we're just going to drop it. Like Saga the other day, we just dropped it. Okay. And I think that now it's a brand that people kind of look for already. We've quickly been able to develop it. So now something I look for is you probably won't see any more trails for it. And we, we did a little data and research and the fans don't want trails. They just want them to come out. Okay. So we're going to follow what the fans want and just drop the battles when they come out. Most you might see it is on the premiere option. We just experimented with that. You know, that was the first battle that will come out on premiere. Um, that's a new feature on YouTube where you kind of see the thumbnail and people can chat. And that, that really did well for us. So we're going to continue to utilize the premiere option. Um, for, for certain battles that, that make sense. You know, it's the brainchild of Pete, my man JB and Ike, shout out, shout out to them. They said we have a new way of shooting that's a little more grimy, up close and personal. Kind of delivers that old feel, <clears throat> kind of the smack feel or whatever. So I said, all right, you know what I mean? Just let, let me know. So they actually went, shot it, delivered it, and it was dope. We liked it. The fans were receptive to it. Um, you know, we, 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 we used the premiere option. We my option on YouTube to kind of let people chat and go back and forth, and I think that was helpful for us. But in terms of doing trailers and stuff for band, you know, just from based on what the you know the fans are saying, they don't like the trailers; they just want the battles to drop. So we're gonna try to follow that motto and deliver the content the way that they want to see. Now, now um, am I? Hopefully, I'm not wrong here. But we'll work it out. Um, they. You're like sneaking these battles in. Talk, talk to me about how you're sneaking them in. Or can yeah, I, well, the can thing is, we, the thing with the band, right? Like, sometimes there's battles that you put out, and everybody has an opinion. Right. And before the battle actually happens, and, oh, I don't want to see that. You should put this one and this one. You don't want that. So kind of the thinking with band is like, you just hear that the battle's dope, and now you want to see it. So it doesn't matter what happened prior to that. So we try not to advertise it. And there's a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of guys, a lot of veterans that want to do bands that like it, like the like what it is, and they're like, yo, I want to take this guy in band. Mm -hmm. well, I think doing a band battle with him would be better for that setting. So, you know, look for that. Um, you know, we're excited about it. We like it to do. And we always try to come up with different stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep it entertaining. And that was just something new that we came up with. I was actually chopping it up with T-Rex today. And he wants to do a battle where nobody knows who they battle. You just show up with your rhymes. That's how he wants to do band. He said, the put me, old Rex said, put me in band with somebody and just tell them to have three random rounds and I'm gonna come with three random rounds and we do a different type of band. Like, you know, anybody can get it, just show up, whoever, you know, show up with your rhymes type thing. You know what I mean? And I thought that was a dope style, dope thing too because then it's just really about who got rhymes for who. You know what I mean? And if you be freestyle and clever on the spot, then so be it. So I think that would be an interesting aspect too. You know what I mean? I'm willing to try it and see how it works. The worst that can happen is it won't be good. But we're looking at doing those kind of bands as well. You know? But another, that, that, that's something that, shout out to T-Rex, that's an idea that he came to me with. I was actually spoke with him today. He's like, yo, B, he's like, set me up in band. I want to do band. I'm going to come with three rounds. You know how Rex is mad hype. Come with three rounds. Put it in them against him. Put it in the band with him. I said, get that New Jersey twerk. I'm going to teach that boy a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Just tell him to have three rounds. You show up and be ready that day. You know, so I was like, all right. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely would like to do that. But we just, nobody knows who they're battling. And they just show up and be prepared. I think that would be different, be unique. 
You know what I mean? It wouldn't you be don't something tell that nobody in there. It's just gonna happen. No, this is this is who's battling tonight. Him so, and him. So you created a fucking monster, man. Anytime you do something and then everybody wants to be a part of it, you know you're on the right track or something. So motherfuckers want to create their own band battles now. Yeah, it's gonna be restricted. <laughs> that's the, that's that's gonna be the knockoff. We got banned, somebody's gonna come up restricted. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's something else. Something else. No, that's fire, yeah. man. Well, yeah, now nah, jokes aside, man, I'm happy about it. I like it. You know, the, the fans like it. So, you know, we just want to continue to do stuff that makes them happy. And, you know, we're always open to suggestions and we try to listen. You know, people ask us, you know, ask us to do different battles, change different things. So, we try to listen to them. And, you know, we don't get everything. Sometimes we see stuff, sometimes we don't. And we try to, you know, make the adjustments and the changes whenever we can. But understand, as I mentioned before, sometimes when people ask for stuff and they think that things are going on and happening, it's not that we're ignoring you. We know what's going on, just like you guys know what's going on. But we're always looking to keep things in play or do what's best. And you know, we're not always gonna just come out and reveal everything that we're doing at every moment of the day. You know what I'm saying? We still are a private company and we move in a way that benefits us and in the long run will benefit you guys. You know, we just ask that you trust us. We've been around for a good amount of time now. And, you know, we've been pretty consistent over the years. So, you know, everything doesn't always go according to plan, but generally we land on our feet. You know, so. Make that sense. You know what it is. Oh, here we go. Live from the laundry room, man. <laughs> You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Now stepping into 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. That's my motherfucking jam right there.